Welcome to Ghost Recon Wildlands. Today we are going to play the Narco Road DLC, which is the first paid for DLC that's been released for Wildlands. With Santa Blanca winning the prize of the world's most successful criminal organization, it's inevitable they have one of the most sophisticated smuggling networks we've ever tried to break. And it's not just narcotics. They smuggle cars, guns, humans, phones, even animals. Ask any hustler on the street, and he'll tell you there's one Mr. Big behind the whole network. A mastermind known affectionately as El Invisible. No one knows his name. No one knows what he looks like. No one knows where he operates from. We had nothing. Until last week, that is. When we picked up a hacker on our most wanted list, Carlos Reguillo. Of course, this black hat didn't like the idea of 30 years sewing mailbags, so started to talk. He tells us that recently, Santa Blanca brought him a PDA to enhance. And while doing this, Reguillo finds it's loaded with every detail of their entire smuggling operation. We believe that operating with just this device and working alone is how El Invisible remains invisible. So, the CIA have been presented with a MacGuffin we can't just ignore. We need that PDA found along with its owner. We've thousands of suspects, but without some kind of name, a physical description, and a recent location, it's impossible for us to focus on any one person. What I can offer is somewhere to start your hunt. Three powerful individuals and their organizations who have had contact with this mysterious smuggling kingpin. Infiltrate the inner circle of these men and get us the information we need. So a very interesting thing about this DLC is you cannot play as your main character, which is very odd. So you have to actually make up a brand new character to play the DLC. Which means of course no weapons or anything are going to come across to your single player game. And you actually, if we can see the weapons I've got, we start with completely different weapons from standard as well. So here we go. So a lot of this is based around vehicles. So the driver in this game, not so brilliant. We'll have to see how this plays out. Listen up, Ghost. You're in the middle of Eddie Escovado's territory. His gang and the kamikazes are mostly into smuggling drugs for his lavish parties. We've worked on your cover as a mercenary. Eddie knows you're coming. He'll be at his villa. So it's just me, no AIs. So, infiltrate, complete missions, fill your gang follower gauge. Oh god. Oh god. I like the helicopter though. See, it's a real pity you can't take any of this to the cooperative world. So, yeah, right, we're limited to this area. Yes, yeah. So, we're gonna basically. Work our way down and then get to El Invisible down here. Okay. Okay. It does look like we've got a decent chunk. I'm guessing we can go out the bounds here. Plenty of fast travel locations. Man, this helicopter. We even got miniguns on this freaking colourful thing. Oh, people are shooting. You're in the Playboy's playground. The information we have is that Escovado knew El Invisible as a boy. If you can impress him and his crew of adrenaline junkies, I'm sure they'll make you an honorary kamikaze and start telling you their secrets. Electro air araba Oh my god, right, I have to fly through hoops. Okay. Impress them. This is very weird. This is quite GTA, isn't it? Oh wow, I went through a thing and I got success. Wow, yeah, that was, um, yeah, very impressive. I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Am I supposed to land? These dudes appear to be uh, not hostile anyway. So I impressed them by just flying a chopper over their little tower there. I'm hoping you guys are not totally pissed off right now. Chill out, right guys? All good? This is very weird. Oh 
Oh, you, you can get some beaten music down here. Yeah, people are not having a good party down here. <laughs> There's just a float of dungbell there. Oh, it's gone. Oh wait, no, no, he's holding it. Oh, no, oh, okay. Okay. They've really worked out the bugs in this game, haven't they? Yeah, that is, that is quite something. Hey, friendo. I thank you for coming. I hear many good things about you. Shit, he's ass at me. Hotshot American gone for hire, looking for the action, right? Dude, I'm over here. And guess what? Eddie likes guns. And Eddie likes to hire, but mostly the footage, of course. But I think maybe we could have some fun together after you show me just how crazy you are. Uh, have you heard of Los Sinalma? Bunch of badass gangsters with camps all over the place. I send these idiots some explosives as gifts. What they do not know is that you are going to drive this big ass truck here into their stupid camps and explode these gifts, Trojan horse style. You make some fucking noise and chaos for me, and then we get down to some serious business. This is weird. This does not feel anything like Ghost Recon. This is odd as hell. So, wait, is that just a jump? I thought it was going to actually be a monster truck. Oh my god, we got nitro. For crying out. Oh, okay, sorry. Yep, there's our monster truck. Cool looking, though. Damn, very cool looking. Again, I wish I could take this in my cooperative world and show off people who don't have the DLC. So, blah, blah, blah. Why to activate Nitro? This is Ghost Recon. Seriously. You have got to be the guy who is different. Who surprises, who makes the eyes pop. My followers, they want to see crazy. They want to see genius. They want to see fucking sexy shit, okay? This is weird. <laughs> Maybe this, I'm guessing that must be what they're doing. They're, they're going after the GTA market, I would think. Look at this. This is fucking weird though. Like, I do feel like I'm playing GTA right now. Alright, I think we should go the other way. Yeah, it'd be awesome to be able to take this to the uh, cooperative and actually show off this kind of stuff to. Oh. See, oh, this would be really cool to have in the cooperative world that I could. This about with. In natural full game. I might have a switch to music off. <laughs> Just beating like constant. Oops. And that's with the radio off as well. Alright. Um Great. So yeah. Switch to music off, but yeah, still got music on. What what is with this game? Like seriously, music volume is down. It, yeah, for fuck's sake! It was the radios first. Now it's this goddamn shit. So what am I supposed to do? Just run in here? <laughs> I honestly don't know. I thought I was to come down here with a monster truck and do something. Like, am I just supposed to shoot him? It's also weird not having my AI buddies with me. I guess I'm supposed to shoot him. What are you doing around here, silly? Yeah, I got into the wrong seat. Yeah, this is just weird. Really weird. I can only assume they're going after the GTA market with this. We do have some frags, so... Frag out. Get some. Who, who are you talking to, dude? Like, seriously, what you got your... Why yeah, you got your freaking... That is what I'm talking about. Noise and danger and destruction. You are like a bull in a china shop. A rat in an operating room. A sex pest. Jeez, this is weird. This is also interesting. We have some 
stuff unlocked. Definitely not the same as my. Like, actually, that's grayed out, so. Or wait, can we get that? It's not grayed out. This is weird. Alright. What the hell is this? Blockade? But you know, just happen to have a couple of explosive battles nearby. Marking a hot. You have a good attitude, friend. You do not run from life, but drive very fucking fast toward it. <laughs> I like a hired gun with big cojones. Such a person does not need to hide any part of himself. People who pretend to be other people are assholes. Boom. I wonder if I can actually customize my weapons. Or if I have any unlocks. Boom. I have jumped from weather balloons. I have smoked BMP and wrestled a fucking bear, but nothing gives me more pleasure than pushing a vehicle to its fucking limit. Do you want to hang with me? You must show me you love that too. <laughs> this, seems, this does not seem like the kind of guy living in Bolivia in this time and all this stuff is going on. Wait, what is... Oh. oh, wait, I've got... Okay, I drift. Okay. Yeah, so you have back my drifting capability there. <laughs> Zero. Again, another nice explosive barrel. Isn't that just pure luck? Let's have a look at my loadout then, see if I can change it. Uh, it does look like we have a bunch of guns. Do we have Cool, that's a division gun. No, I've actually seen that. So we could put the shotgun on. I'm actually can't tell you to put the shotgun on. Um I guess we'll stay with that then. This at least we can edit, but what do we actually have? Oh, we do have some good scopes. That's good. Alright, and paint it. I unlocked the, the copper today. Disgusting. Gotta put it on for a bit though. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Um, uh, parts. Barrel. Oh, we. Oh, lumbar. Um, muzzle. Presser. So yeah, this we do have a lot of stuff actually unlocked. All right, so at least we can customize a nice sniper. That's better than nothing, I guess. All right, so, ooh, look at this. Another roadblock with probably another explosive barrel. Damn, I forgot to put the brake on. Well, you know what? There's no explosive barrel that I can see. <laughs> Monster truck, she's gonna... Oh wait, no, it stopped. Oh no, 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 there is. The scope's actually really nice. Oh, too high. Boom. I don't even know where that round went. There we go. Wait. It is the radio! So I can switch off at least, but still, what the fuck? Like that was that was something they fixed, and now it's in their DLC. Fucking hell! This game. Well, I'm, I just felt a little bit of FPS drop there, like. Come on, that's obviously a bad guy. Spot him. Seriously? We did spot it earlier, so well, it's not like it's been disabled. Oh wait, wait, are, are these fucking good guys? I bet these guys are good guys. Hard to fucking tell. Yeah, I've seen some green dots. So let's drive in. Why does the radio always have to be on when you get in? Can't believe it still has that. There's a bug for fuck's sake. I need a friend though. You are a live wire, a spark plug, a dynamo fist fog, a person who likes to live big just like me. So I'm sure to need your. Uh, how do you call it? Special skills here, very soon. Keep the faith, friendo. I message you soon. 
Okay. What the fuck is going on? Oh, for fuck's sake. Like... What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Alright guys, thanks very much for watching the now. I will catch you next time.